Hey Stampers, I'm Meg from Loven and Stamps with a Takeout Treats project to share with you for Stamps in the Mail Club this month. And this card is actually really, really elegant and simple. I love it. It uses the layering ovals dies, or layering ovals framelits, and the feature, the stamps from the Takeout Treats. These elements are really cute. They're great for all kinds of seasons, all kinds of occasions. And I'm going to give you a little tip on adding a focal point to a card. So grab your card stock and your Stamps in the Mail Club kit and let's get stamping. Okay, so one of the features in this project is the layering ovals framelit dies, and I love these. You can use them to make um, ovals in a variety of sizes, all the way sort of down to the size that's a little bit less than one inch across, and then of course there's a scallop to go with it, all the way up to this giant one here that's even bigger than what we've used on this card, and then of course a scallop to go with it. So it's a really nice way to um, get a great layering look for any of the um, greetings or focal points or stamps that you want that are oval shaped. So um, make sure you think about adding that to your collection if you haven't already. I'm going to start with this Blackberry Bliss cardstock and it's really hard to see on the sample but I'm going to go ahead and show you. I have um, my Blackberry Bliss ink pad and I'm going to add a spray of stars. And so this is going to start at the upper right and then spread out as it goes down to the bottom left. Okay, all right, you see those there? There you go. I promise they're on there in the sample too. And then I'm gonna take my star and while I've got it out, I'm actually gonna go ahead and stamp here too. I'm gonna stamp um, three times, one, two, three. And they don't have to be even, you're pretty flexible there. And then I'm going to grab this um, wire kind of image with the little stars on it and go ahead and add a couple of these with a crossover just to the left of center. I usually try not to make the crossover right in the middle um, just for sort of artistic reasons. And then one of the greetings from this is Enjoy, which goes for pretty much anything. Uh, so I'm going to grab this here. And one of the great things about Stamps the Mail Club is that you can make the cards however you want. If you want to use a different greeting, go for it. So I'm going to put this sort of to the bottom right on here. Now this is a spacer because our focal point is actually going to be a dimensional item. So I'm stamping that again and then I'm going to use my paper snips. Love these little scissors. Hold the paper snips exactly steady and turn the cardstock as you go so you can cut out this image. And I love when I cut things out I almost always leave a white edge around and it's almost like making its own custom layer. Uh, so the image really has a little bit more bulk than it would if you trimmed it right up against the stamping. Okay, then this is going to have to get a mini Stampin' Dimensional because it's just so cute and tiny and this is going to oops, um, pop on here. I went out for uh, Mexican food the other day with some um, stamping friends and on our table when we sat down was a little uh, Stampin' Dimensional backing and I thought we kind of laughed about it and said yeah um, clearly that came here with us because it's not like it's not like someone else made that Stampin' Dimensional backing here on the table. So, too funny. Okay, um, so I just trimmed an end. You can leave it uh, all the way to the edge of the card if you want, but I kind of like it to be a little short. And this is from the Frosted Floral Designer Series paper, which is featured um, with my Stamps the Mail Club this month in September. And you can actually get a really cool product bundle um, along with your Stamps the Mail Club kit. So always a cool um, upgrade available. And then we have this gorgeous velvet ribbon which uh, really matches my nails nicely. I know you're shocked to see them painted. I get that. <laughs> um, and I'm going to just trim um, sort of a bigger piece and a smaller piece and then like you might have some left over you could put that in your your coveted stash. Here I like challenge to make a card out of those two pieces right? Anyway um, you can put adhesive on the back of this ribbon, but let's just make life easier. I'm going to show you a trick. What I'm going to do is take um, some edge from my Stampin' Dimensional and just trim that. This, this good stuff at the edges isn't garbage. This is like gold. And so what I'm going to do is just use that right over the top there to adhere my ribbon so that I don't have to work so hard to get, uh, to get the... Um, ribbon attached with adhesive, regular adhesive, and then that is all perfectly ready to add my scalloped oval. And then all I have to do is add some snails to the back of my stamped oval and pop that on my card and there we go. Oh wait! We need more! There's some bling to go on here. 
I'm going to grab these Share What You Love Pearls and my Take a Pick tool. I'm going to use that same technique that I showed you before. Hold this um, in your left hand and use that finger to keep the pearl from moving away from you when you're trying to pop it on your Take a Pick tool. See how that works? All right, and then I'm going to pop those on there. So I was actually using this recently for uh, little tiny red rhinestones to pop them onto some um, cards that I was making. And each card had like six or seven of those red rhinestones. And I figured out that you can actually load like three rhinestones on the end of this and then use your finger to pull them off one at a time. So it really made the whole process super speedy and simple. All right, so there is our finished uh, card with a takeout treats stamp set for Stamps the Mail Club this month of uh, September. Be sure to check my website at lovenstamps.com to see if I still have any kits left. Um, let me know if you would like to request one or any of the other past kits that I have available. So thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to sharing another project with you again soon. Happy stamping!